Etienne, we haven't touched on Coronation coming out with a big increase in headline earnings per share for the first half, up 150%, last, largely attributable to the rally in equity markets. Bronwyn, that's 100% right. But keep in mind, Coronation's got a nice little kicker in their, in their fee structure. They obviously charge performance fees, and that's where a huge, huge amount of gearing lies. Um, obviously, their cost base is fairly high, yet reasonably fixed. So having said that, with the market running and obviously um, Coronation being one of the more astute investors on the street, uh, if I recall correctly, they committed huge amounts of capital to the market early last year, sort of Feb, when everybody was still quite jittery, and obviously them getting quite a bit of a nice kicker out of that, and it's now starting to show in the numbers. Are you positive on Coronation going forward? I think it's probably one of the best, fun, better fund management shops uh, uh, in town, and uh, yeah, so going forward, it's probably not a... Not a bad one to Not bet. a bad bet. No. Keeping your eye on U.S. earnings and what we're seeing on that front, obviously Intel is the big talking point that we surprised on the revenue line as well as on the headline earnings per share number coming in at 43 U.S. cents as opposed to 38 U.S. cents, which was consensus. Yes. But it's that revenue line, the $10.3 billion versus $9.85 billion that everyone's talking about and the positive momentum that the market has garnered from that. J.P. Morgan also coming out with numbers that were relatively good. Yes. What do you make of the forward-looking statement for earnings, this quarter earnings in the U.S.? Ronald, I think it's very important to differentiate between specifically JPs and, and Intel. JP Morgan obviously making a huge amount of money on proprietary trading, more specifically on their bond side. So it's a function of the debt markets in the US. Uh, it was pretty much one-way traffic last year. So uh, let's call it uh, shooting fish in a barrel, whereas um, Intel specifically has become, is the global uh, giant on the processor market. And they've... Uh, made huge gains into China and, and we saw the Chinese GDP data coming out yesterday, that economy running um, its heels off at uh, close on 12% growth. So uh, obviously very positive news on, the, on both the earnings and the revenue side for Intel which is encouraging and uh, obviously that would lead to some sort of follow through on the industrial side. But the banks I'd be cautious on to sort of extrapolate any Well that's a discussion